In this lesson, we'll look at how to calculate the maximum holding capacity of a vessel before it sinks. The question reads, a rectangular shaped open top steel barge is 10 meters by 3 meters and has sides 1 meter high. The mass of the barge is 8.0 times 10 to the power of 3 kilograms. How much can the barge hold if it can safely sink 0.75 meters? Also, calculate how deep the unloaded barge will sink in the water. Now, if you haven't picked it up already, this problem involves understanding Archimedes' principle, which is something that we've discussed in previous videos. Archimedes' principle suggests that the volume that's displaced when an object is placed into water is equal to the volume of that object. So with that being said, the amount of water that gets displaced when the barge is placed in the water will equal to the volume of the barge that gets submerged. Now we're told in the question that you can safely submerge the barge to 0.75 meters. So what I will do is find the volume of the barge where the height is 0.75 as opposed to what they've given us as one meter. All right, so let's go ahead and find the volume of a rectangular prism. That's easy to do. It's length times width times height. So we have length of 10, width of three, that's 10 times three times 0.75. Multiplying all this out will be the amount of water that gets displaced. So we have 22.5 meters cubed worth of water displaced when this much of the barge gets placed into the water. The next thing that I will do is calculate the buoyant force. And this is the force in which the water exerts on the object that's placed into it. To calculate this force, we'll use the following formula where we have the density times the acceleration due to gravity times the volume. So the force or the buoyant force of the water, I'll call it F sub W, is equal to the density, which I'll represent by the Greek letter rho, and that's the density of water. You should know this, it's 1,000 kilograms per one meter cubed times the acceleration due to gravity, that is a constant times the volume that gets displaced, and that's 22.5 meters cubed. So let's calculate the buoyant force, and if the force that the object, the barge, exerts on the water is greater than the buoyant force, and we have yet to calculate that, but if it is greater than what we're about to calculate, then it will sink. So multiplying all this out, 1,000 times 9.8 times 22.5, gets us the following in Newtons. And we need this to three significant figures, so I'll write down 2.21 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, times 10 to the power of 5 Newtons. So that's the buoyant force that the water exerts on the barge. Okay, as I mentioned, if the force that the barge exerts on the water is greater than this, it will sink beyond 0 0.75 meters. We want to calculate how much mass the barge can hold for it to sink to 0 0.75, not to sink completely. So what I will do is calculate the force using this formula, where the force that the barge exerts on the water is its mass, and we have two masses here. One of them is the mass of the barge, and the other mass we don't know, it's the load mass. So I'll write down that the mass consists of two things, the mass of the barge plus the mass of the load times the acceleration due to gravity being 9.8. In addition, I'll take this value and place it in for F. So the mass given in the question is 8.0, 8.0 times 10 to the power of three kilograms. It's in the correct units. The mass or the load mass, we don't know, and that's what we're looking for, times 9.8, and the force is 2.21 times 10 to the power of five. Okay, we have to solve for m sub l, and it's not hard to do, it's simple algebra here. You divide both sides by 9.8, and I should be including the units here, but I know that mass will be in kilograms, so there's really no point, because I know what's gonna happen. So 2.21 times 10 to the power of five, divided by 9.8, okay? And to solve for this, I have to bring this term over to that side. So it becomes negative 
or the number on our screen minus 8,000. And we get the mass, or the load mass being, and rounding this to three digits, we have 14.5 times 10 to the power of three. Now this isn't in scientific notation or anything, but you get an idea of the mass that would sink the barge 0 0.75 meters. Okay, now in the second part of the question, we're told calculate how deep the unloaded barge will sink in the water. So this is without any mass at all. For that, we have to work backwards. So we would calculate the force where we take 8.0 times 10 to the power of 3 times 9.8 to get the force that the barge exerts without any load. And then you would take that force, substitute it in for F sub W, and solve for volume, then subsequently solve for this, which is the depth. If you'd like me to show you how to do that calculation, write me in the comment section below and I'll go through it in more detail, but that's the idea. And so there you have it. Now you know how to calculate the maximum holding capacity of a vessel, in this case a barge, before sinking.